Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello and welcome to The Naomi Show. Now let's face it, there are some women who are just naturals at attracting and keeping men. You know the kind of girls I'm talking about. It just seems so easy for them to get dates and eventually find a great partner. And we're not simply talking about women who are physically attractive here because that's not always the case. These women just seem to have a chemistry with men that makes them irresistible. So what's their secret and what can we learn from them if we want to increase our chances in the dating arena? Well, psychologist Eve Ash has some theories. Okay, Eve, what can we learn from women who are really successful at attracting men? I think it's often their friendliness and their ability to communicate. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, good looks are what makes the difference. But I think time and time again, it is somebody who is able to actually get out there and engage in a, a great conversation and make the guy feel comfortable. You mentioned good looks, but there, there are obviously women who are extremely good looking, who don't have men and, and struggle in relationships, and women who are considered perhaps not as beautiful, who are very successful across the board, aren't they? So it's not about looks. But is there anything you can do that's actually going to be more appealing to men? And look, I'm not saying here, we, we don't, this is not our primary focus in life, obviously, but if you do want a life partner and you're looking for someone, how can you make yourself more appealing to men? I think there's a number of things you can do, and a lot of it is about showing a warmth inside you, that kind of glow, and that comes from feeling good about life, feeling good about yourself. So if you're not feeling good about yourself and you're feeling really uneasy, that's going to show. If you're shy, that's something you really need to get over. I mean, if we take somebody who's good looking, yes, they've got a great start supposedly, mm. but a lot of guys say that women who are aloof or who are arrogant are actually a turn off. So therefore, looks are not the most important thing. I think it's definitely ability to engage and communicate and they can do that in a number of ways starting off with having a script in their head, a kind of thinking pattern that says, I'm going to have fun, mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to enjoy myself. And I imagine taking an interest in the man and what he does and who he is is, is fairly important too, isn't it? I mean, everyone, everyone wants to be with someone who's interested in them. Actually, <laughs> actually it's a, an easy way to communicate is to ask questions of the other person and show interest. So asking questions about really lovely, simple topics, like everybody can talk about where they've been or where they like to go on holidays, and that's a nice sort of easy one. But at first glance, are there certain things about women who aren't so successful with men that make them less appealing? I think women who talk too much, are, it's a problem because the guy never gets to talk about himself and it's very one way. So it's important that there be an equal amount. So if you're a woman that likes to talk a lot, you need to throw in a few questions and be prepared to keep the mouth shut while they're answering and, and talking and engaging. And what about um, the way you dress? Because we're talking about, say, girls who are going out to a bar or wherever they may be going, to a party or any kind of a function. They want to put on their best face, their best look. What's the most appealing? Now, when you talk about being sexy or trampy, that's, there's a fine line there, isn't it? But it's one that, that women sort of need a little guidance on sometimes. And I think a lot of people have people in their lives, a friend, who will give them really good feedback. And a lot of times women wear clothes, for example, where their friends say, gee, you look well today, gee, you look good. Remember those clothes. You know, it might be that you're wearing the colour blue or you've got, you know, a brightness about you. And often it's those clothes where you feel good, people tell you you feel good, are a great one to wear out, as opposed to something that you feel portrays a certain image. Okay. I'll take that all on board <laughs> when I go out next. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Eve. And we look forward to your company next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.